y'all, it's Betsy with Happily Ever After, etc. And welcome back to another Cricut project or office project, organizing project. If you've watched any of my Cricut projects in the last year, you know that I built, well, my mom and I built this framed pegboard for my office. It goes right above my rolling Cricut cart. I've done a I know I've done a post on this cart. I don't know if I did a video, but if I did, I will link it down below. I love it because it houses all of my machines, my Maker, my Maker 3, my Explorer 2, both of my heat presses, <laughs> all of my blades, and I put the whole thing on wheels. I'm pretty sure I did a video of putting the wheels on. It did not come with wheels, but because my machines need to be, you know, 20 inches away from the wall to be usable. I didn't want to have to move them every time I wanted to use a machine. I wanted to be able to just pull the cart out and use a machine unless I was filming and needed to put it on my desk. So this is the main machine I use. It's up top. I just pull the cart out and use it right here um, unless I'm filming. That's a long winded way of saying that in order to use my machines on my cart, I like to have all of my tools right at hand. At my last house, I will link to this post as well, but my husband and I hung a floor to ceiling pegboard in my craft office, craft room slash office at that house. It was huge. My craft room at that house was much smaller. This is a small room still, but it was probably half this size. It was very tiny. I needed a great way to organize, not just my Cricut supplies at that house, but I had my, my drills and my tools and everything had to live on that pegboard. At this house, I need a space for my Cricut tools, but I also needed a place for my machines and I figured this combination worked the best. I also wanted something that um, would look really pretty. I just realized that my Bright 360 is like photobombing my Cricut light that I keep behind my desk. I don't know that y'all care, but I just noticed and it was bugging me. So I also wanted something pretty that would go with my wallpaper. I wanted everything in this room to be functional and pretty. So instead of just hanging a pegboard, I wanted a pretty pegboard. Um, so we put a frame on it. And now I'm going to go ahead and organize it all. So I, oh, you might have noticed I had quite a few videos for a while where, where it was just this. I started to organize everything and I literally have like a clip of, I'll, I'll put it on here, of just hanging these tools. And then I get to a point where I'm like, Okay, my tools from my last house, or my pegs from my last house that are just these standard Cricut pegs are not quite good enough. I needed some custom pegs. So I went ahead, I took a beat, I ordered some things like these magazine holders that I'm going to use for my Cricut mats that I want on hand. I ordered some special cups because I wanted my infusible ink markers easy at hand. I ordered some paper towel roll holders that I'm going to put vinyl and transfer tape on. I want to just be able to kind of pull it and slice it um, and some ribbon. So I wanted some specialty kind of hooks and I kind of have, I have a thought out design of what I want this to look like. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to try to put it together in a way that organizes not all my tools, I still have a basket down here of other tools I use, but the tools I use most often in a way that they are at my fingertips. So obviously I started with all of my weeding tools and my spatula, my brayer, my scissors, those I use, and my um, extra large scraping tools. So those were easy to start with. They fit on the standard hooks and I know I need them. So from there, it was a question of A, what do I use the most? and B, what hooks do I need to organize them? So I'm gonna go ahead and put some music on and uh, start putting this together. And then at the end, I will give you a close up of which tools I deemed worthy of the wall 
and what hooks I use to hang them in case you are also doing a Cricut organizing project. And this might be useful. If you do not have a space this big, I will also link to a post down below where I did my Cricut cart for when I was staying at my mom's house last two years ago now um, in between houses and I did not have a craft room and everything had to be mobile to go from the living room to the dining room to the front porch wherever I was working at the time um, and that's a great way to use everything. I am now in the process of moving everything from the cart to the craft room because the cart is going to go live in my new work shed for my tools out there. So that's a lot of talking to say, putting stuff on a pegboard. Let's do it. I love organizing. Okay. Hey, bitty bitty. So I now want my ribbon to go over on this side. Not, must not be exciting enough for the dogs because they are playing in the living room. It's hard to get the spacing right sometimes, but that's okay. Just keep playing with it and you will figure it out. These are the paper towel holders. You can see they hold the vinyl and my ribbon perfectly. So how they go is they are just hooks on one side. You can put them in. They have a long bar that goes through the paper towel holder or the transfer tape and then insert into the long bar, insert this side into the long bar, and then you hook these into your pegboard. So now I'm going to use just some regular hooks for my slicey paper slicer, paper cutter, probably paper cutter. And while the pegs are always movable once they're on the pegboard, these particular pegs do have little like latchy things on the back that keeps them really sturdy to the pegboard once they're settled. So until I'm positive that the placement is perfect, I just kind of place them on the pegboard. Once I've got the permanent placing, I'll go in and click them all in. But this way, if I've got to move them up one or over one, it's a lot easier. Gotta do this one this way, otherwise that little guy just falls. Perfect, and I think I'm gonna do my cups above that. And I do have a little stool here because the very top row is a little hard to get to off the floor. Bonus points of securing the pegs makes your dogs fart. It's okay, girls. You're all right. Come, come lay down. Looks good so far. All right, so now I have a few other big things. Let's see what layers those need to be. So let's do these. Yeah, reach these from the pig or from the uh. 
All right, so this little guy is my crocodile, which if you're a scrapbooker, you might recognize, but it punches holes and sets brads. I love it, but it is kind of a awkward shape. I find that you can kind of right in the V here, set it on a, on a hook. Not sure what the spacing is. <laughs> Cricut rulers that work with my rotary cutters. They're great for fabric, but I use them for a lot of things like cardboard, corrugated cardboard, um, even basswood sometimes. My happy planner punch because I obviously use my happy planners for everything. And while it's not a Cricut thing, I don't like keeping it in my desk. It's very bulky and I want to have it close at hand. So desk punch. See if that's right or not. Not sure exactly the spacing, but I do know I need six holes in between for these to fit properly. So far, so good. If I had a big enough pegboard, I would do one for fabric grip, one for purple, one for blue, one for green, so that I could just easily grab each one. I've also seen people do just like command strip hooks on the side of a desk or on their Cricut cart. But honestly, I keep them organized, you can see according to color. Um, so it's not that hard to just grab the one I need. I've had these up here for a while to see if I liked this solution. And so far I do. But with it being a magazine holder, I find that you do need quite a few of them in it to kind of hold the magazine holder together. Because there's nothing connecting it other than what's in it. So I tried to just put like one or two in at the beginning because I thought they might be too heavy if I put all my mats and it didn't work. I had to put all of them. So if you only need one or two mats worth of storage, probably easier just to use a, a peg. At my last house, I had all of my vinyl on my pegboard and I loved it. It was a great solution but my vinyl collection has grown exponentially. So I decided at this house, I would do my Cricut Joy Vinyl on the pegboard. Since it's smaller, I would do my most used colors. So I literally have my adhesive foil, my rose gold iron on, my transfer tape. If you look through any of my projects, those are the things I reach for nine times out of 10. And then I don't think you can see it, but I'll pan you over it. I have all of my pink Cricut vinyls, iron-ons, adhesive foils, all pinks and rose gold since those I reach for the most behind my door. And then the rest are in my cubed bookshelf if I need to go dig out a blue or an orange or a gold. So this is what I've drawn out in my notebook. And uh, I'm gonna bring y'all in for a closer look. I'm probably going to leave it like this for a couple days and see how it works with how, what I need to reach for the most. And then if I like this configuration, I will push all the pegs in and secure them in their spots. The only things I'm not sure about are like from down here on the floor, not on my stool, I can reach the vinyl. Like I can grab this to use it easy enough. I'm not sure. No, I can, I can grab that. I'm not sure about this guy. He is a pain to get off. I don't reach for that as often as the other things. And I think once I push the peg in, it will get exponentially easier. And I think, I think the cups might be hard. I want to live with it like this and see, and then we'll readjust. But I mean, that's kind of the whole point. Plan for what you use the most and then go from there. The only things that did not fit on the pegboard that I do reach for quite often are... My light 
iPad and my roll holder. I'm not quite sure what to do with these yet other than just put them in a basket down beside the cart because the cricket cart is going to the shed. So these can't live on the cart anymore. Everything else on the cart at this point is a duplicate of something on here. Like I just have like eight rolls of transfer tapes on the cart <laughs> and like six weeding tools. <laughs> Those can all go in storage for when I need them. And I'll just work with the one on the pegboard and replace it once I've worked through it. So I'm gonna bring y'all in closer and then I'll see you in the next video. I'm excited to finally have it done. I was getting really tired of that blank pegboard in all my videos. All right, the glorious pegboard. You can also see before we get into it, here's all my pink vinyl storage behind the door. And here is all of my, I, have, I believe vinyl and iron on in this one. And then this is all felt. And then I have card stock, all kinds of things in the bottom baskets. I have a dachshund on a chair, ladybug. He's supposed to be up there. She's allowed to be, but I usually have a throw blanket down and it's in the wash, so whatever. We're gonna pretend we don't see that. Back to the pegboard. So, obviously, our standard pegs work perfectly for all our tools. Dun, dun, dun. You can see that the uh, magazine holders work perfectly. I do like this. This is one of the main things I reached for. It had to be up here as well as the cutting mats. And here is the system I was telling you about. So not really system. It's just color coded blue, green, all in a row. My vinyl. I use this for iron on. I use it to clear off anything that I'm doing and my pins. I also did add a fun little garland up top just to A, pretty up and B, pull in some of the greens that were in this because it's like bluish greens, which is not really necessarily my thing. My thing's pink, if you can't tell, but this like lamb's ear, sagey, dusty blue, that's definitely my thing, so. Hope you liked this video. If you did, like, comment, subscribe, show your friends, tell your mom. I will see you in the next video. I need to go play with my dogs. Apparently they need some fun. Bye y'all.